Hi, my name is Caleb Howitt and I work for PSP Gauge Town. Um, we're going to be doing a uh, workout today. We're going to be doing a core and mobility workout. We're going to have some fun with that. Um, I'm not going to be playing any music today, but feel free to play whatever tunes you want. Uh, and we're going to have fun with that. So I'm just going to read off this disclosure and then we're going to get started right into the workout. Okay, so in response to COVID-19, PSP is offering telefitness to Canadian Armed Forces members. By using social media platforms, the telefitness classes tailored to Canadian Armed Forces personnel become accessible to all. Prior to participating in this session and to make an informed decision on whether you should seek advice from a qualified exercise professional or informed decision, uh, healthcare professional or healthcare provider, consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference documents. Simply by clicking the links below. So there's going to be two links below. You're just going to look at those. Make sure that you have, um, uh, you, you see the, the risks of the workout and see that if the workout is right for you or not right for you. And just take a look at that. Awesome. And then by continuing with this telefitness class, you understand that there is a possibility of physical injury and you agree that you would do so voluntarily and at your own risk. You've, you also assume all risk of injury and agree to release the Canadian Forces Morale and Welfare Services from any and all claims related to participation in this telefitness class. Okay, after we got that done, make sure you look at that. Uh, we're going to get started. So we're going to get right into our warm-up. So we're doing core mobility. So I always like to start that off with uh, just bracing, just, just activating our abdominals. So we're going to lay down our backs. We want to think about having a little pocket underneath our back. So we should be able to fit a hand underneath there. We want to think about pulling our belly button towards our spine, but still keeping that pocket uh, between our lower back and the floor. And we're thinking about activating the front, the front of our belly, or uh, yeah, so our rectus abdominis, or the front of our belly. We want to think about activating the sides, our obliques, and we want to think about activating our lower back or our rectus and just all the way around. Yeah. So we want to activate. If you're having a hard time activating, imagine someone's about to push you. Or like in your mind, I imagine someone's about to give you a shove and tense up like you would there. Awesome. So we're just going to hold that tension, hold that position. And right now we're doing a breathing brace, so make sure you're breathing through it. We're not doing a, a non-breathing brace or valsalva maneuver, because we're going to be holding these positions for a while, and we want to keep that brace, but we also want to be breathing appropriately. Just going to stay here for another few seconds, and then we're just going to get into more of the movement prep. One more deep breath. Okay, we're gonna sit up. I'm gonna get into a tabletop quadruped position. We're gonna press through our first three fingers. So I'll show you from the front angle. So you're gonna press first three fingers on a straight line between our fingers, our wrist, our elbow, and our shoulder. And don't forget to breathe. Nice work. Just get those wrists, forearms all warmed up. We're going to spend time on our forearms and hands today. Just a few more reps. Okay, next we're going to do our an elbow warm up, so we're going to do something called a screwdriver. If you've done another one of my classes, you can know what this is. So we're, we're lowering the elbows back onto the floor, moving them out to the side, and then pressing up, back, out to the side, press up. Moving in a semi circular motion. <laughs> nice. I'll give you another angle. So back. Out and up. Then the other direction. So we're going out, back, and up. Out, back, and up. Nice. 
nice work, everyone. Let's get the elbows, the wrists, the shoulders nice and warm. Nice. Okay, next we're going to do some arm circles so you can stay seated, you can stand up. We're just going to have hands up to the side, we're just going to draw like three inch circles in diameter. <laughs> nice. Mm. Hope you're all having a good morning. You made a great decision by starting the day off with exercise. Yeah. You're going to have another beautiful day today, so it's, it's going to be amazing. So make sure you get outside today, go for a walk, play with the kids, run around, have fun. And we're just going to make that circle about six to nine inches in diameter. And don't forget to bring nice. And then 12 inches, call it 15 in diameter. Eighteen, twenty-four inches, or oh, like two feet, or just bigger than before. <laughs> nice. And then we're gonna go big as we can go. Nice. Okay, next we're gonna do some arm swings. So we're gonna swing our arms overhead and then behind the back, overhead and then behind the back. Do a few more reps here, just, just making sure that our shoulders are nice and toasty and warm, feeling good. Bring the arms across. Nice. Just getting a little bit more dynamic moving in here today. <sighs> yeah. So next, once we move on from the shoulders, we're going to move to the spine, getting that all warmed up and, and feeling good and toasty. Okay. So next, we're going to get back to our tabletop position. So right here, we're going to put one hand on our head. We're going to bring our elbow down towards our pinky, keeping this arm straight, and then pressing that elbow back up towards the ceiling, all turning back and forth. Remember to keep our brace on. Warming up our spine, a little thoracic rotation. Thoracic's just fancy word for upper back. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to move to the other side. We'll give you another view. So hand on the head, moving towards the pinky, up towards the ceiling. Start warming up through the hips. We're gonna start with like a combo. Between that, we're gonna lean back into a child's pose, and then we're gonna come up into an upward dog. A uh, cobra, let's say cobra. Back into a child's pose, lean forward into a cobra. The only difference between cobra and upward dog is upward dog, your knees are off the floor, and then cobra, your knees and your knees are on the ground. That's basically it. Moving forward. Just 
Get everything moving. Feeling good. Get the body nice and warm. Okay, next. We're going to warm up the hips. So we're going to lift one knee off the floor. We can pull our toes towards our shin. We're just going to uh, lift our leg up to the side, but we don't want our hips to move up or down. It'd be kind of hard to move them down, but we don't want to move them up. We just want them to stay at the same level. Pelvis to be in line. Move that leg up to the side and down, and then we're moving the leg up. Knee in the middle, out to the side, down, moving the leg up. Get our glutes nice and warm. Get those hips moving. Remember to breathe. Nice. And we want to think about bracing the entire time, right? So we want to think about keeping that core nice and tight. You want to add a little bit more instability. You can take your other hand off the floor, but you still want to stay flat through the torso if you start falling all over the place. <laughs> and then uh, put your hand back on the ground. <laughs> nice. And you just get one more out to the side and one more up. Nice. Just going to turn around. So, on the side, we're pulling the toesies in towards the chin, lifting the leg up to the side, in and up. Nice. Just getting the glutes. We can pull in our uh, anterior rotators as well if we want to be in a bird dog position. So just opposite arm, opposite leg. But remember, we're just warming up. <laughs> nice. Just getting those glutes, those hips warmed up. Nice work, everyone. Awesome. So we're just one more out to the side, one more up, and back down. Okay, we're going to lay it on our back again. We're just going to do some hip presses. So we're just going to go from a glute bridge. We're going to press the hips up towards the ceiling. Keeping it, keep tension through our abdominals. So thinking about, it's like a pillar. So we want to think about the whole pillar being tight. Not just the front, but the sides and the back. So we want to stay tight through our core, squeeze through our bum. And we're just going to slowly lower our hips down to the floor. We're trying to keep tension through our abdominals and through our glutes. And then pressing back up towards the ceiling. Lowering the hips down and then pressing up. But we want to keep tension through the bum, tension through our abdominals. Pressing through the hips, lowering back down. We're gonna get into forward fold position. Awesome. Now we're gonna walk the hands out into a plank, and then walk the hands back to the feet. Walk the hands out into a plank, and walk the hands back to the feet. Just a few of these before we get started today. Awesome. Okay, from
from there, we're just going to lower the elbows down to the floor into our plank. Okay, we're going to start from here right now. So we're going to be doing a mobility flow like we did on our the last time I did this class. So we're in our plank. We're going to lift one leg up and lower that down. We're going to do that for 60 seconds, okay? Alternating legs back and forth. What we're looking at is not shifting through the body. Everything stays nice and tight. We're looking at breathing. Think about keeping that nice straight body line. If the straight plank is too much, you can always lower it to the knees. And lift one knee out to the floor and lift the other. That's jiving with you better today. Nice, we're doing great. We got ten seconds left, okay, everyone? Awesome. We're going to come up into a high plank and then we're going to press back into a downward dog. From here we're going to rock side to side. We can pedal out the feet. Then we're going to walk back into a forward fold in. Make sure that we're relaxing the head. Walking the hands out. To that downward dog. We're going to lift one leg off the floor. Nice. You can have fun, you can try to stabilize here too. <laughs> Lifting that other hand off the floor, just don't fall on your face. <laughs> We're just gonna put that other foot down. We're gonna lift the other leg up. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Don't lift the same side or you will fall. That's gonna be really hard to hold. <laughs> nice work, everyone. Where are we? There we are. Oh my. So we're going to take that leg, we're going to sit down on the ground. I know, just amazing. Just wonderful. You guys are doing awesome, right? <laughs> so we're going to go into a boat pose again, or not again, for the first time today. Well, maybe not. You may have been doing these for hours before I was eaten up, right? 4 a.m. just sitting there. Okay, we're going to straighten out our back. We're going to lean the body back. Most important part of this. Just keeping our spine straight. We don't want to be rounded in this position. We want a nice straight body line. Okay, so straight back. Bring the knees up. We're trying to pull the knees as close into the chest as we can while keeping our back nice and straight. We can grab the hands out by the knees if we need a little extra help. We can always have our hands on the floor. We'll bring the hands overhead. Okay. Whichever you want to do right now, whatever, whatever is feeling best, we're going to stay here for 45 seconds. Nice. And then we're thinking about breathing, really bring that chest up nice and tall, bring the knees close in towards the chest. Ten seconds left. If 
three, two, one. We're gonna lean back. I'm gonna center myself in the frame of it. Awesome. So we're gonna raise our legs up towards the ceiling and we're gonna drop opposite arm, opposite leg. We wanna think of a key to stand brace through our belly. Opposite arm, opposite leg. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds, okay? Not too long. We wanna think about keeping our lower back press or keeping that arch semi there in our lower back so that we can keep a good brace position, not hurting our lower back. Yeah, awesome. Nice and tight through our abdominals. Three, two, one. Awesome. Woo. From there. Awesome. We're just gonna pull the knees into the chest. Oh, we can rock side to side. Take a little breath. Oh, oh good. Time to breathe. Nice. Stay there for a second. I'm just gonna grab something and hit it away from myself. There it is. <laughs> okay. Then we're gonna roll the knees to the side. We need to get up into a tabletop position. Get back into a downward dog. Come forward into a high plank. Lowering down the elbows. We're gonna go for another 16 or plank in our leg lifts. <laughs> Opposite. Well, just lifting one leg at a time. Strength. Trying to stay nice and tense through the torso, through the body, through the legs. Nice work, everyone. That's 30 down right there. You guys are doing awesome. Don't forget to breathe. Even with our brace on, right? Got 10 seconds left, everyone. Three, two, one. We can come up into our high plank and then press back into a downward dog. We're gonna breathe it out there. We can Shift side to side, pedal out the feet, and then we're going to walk the hands back to a forward fold. Hmm. Not forgetting to relax the head. Coming back out to the downward dog. Nice. Okay, we're going to lift one leg off the floor. I'm just going to hang out here for a second. I'm going to stick that opposite hand off the floor and have a little fun. Oop. <laughs> Are you no. Oh, lost some balance. <laughs> That's okay. Have a little fun there. We can switch sides. Yeah, there it is. It's always good to play. Awesome. So bringing that leg down. Come to your 
your mouth. Wonderful. We're gonna do our boat pose for 45 seconds again. Just gonna grab the stopwatch. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna start in three, two, one. Keeping that back nice and straight. Think about pulling those knees in towards the chest. And breathing. Nice. It's 20 seconds down already, everyone. Just simple, easy. Not too bad, right? But we're working hard. We're doing great. Three, two, one. Letting those legs lay flat. I'm just going to shift into the center of my mat. Lifting the hands and legs up towards the ceiling. We're going to do this for 30. In three, two, one. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Keep a nice brace through our belly. Went a little over, but that's okay. Got in the zone, right? <laughs> so we're gonna bring the knees into the chest. We're gonna breathe. Just gonna focus on our breath. Nice long inhales. And equally long exhales. Nice. Okay. We're going to shift the hips to the side. We're gonna get up into our tabletop position. Shift that. Awesome, we're gonna go back into our downward dog and then we're gonna go back into our plank. You guys are doing amazing, right? Wonderful. So we're pressing the hips back, pushing through the hands, chest towards the feet. And one more deep breath here. Hands out, down to the floor. We're here for 60. Nice. Make sure if you feel like you have to drop out of it, that you move to your knees. You just don't drop out of the whole, the whole exercise, right? You guys are doing great. And if you're feeling like your knees aren't feeling it, like you don't want to put your knees on the ground, you can always elevate your arms like a coffee table or something, that will slip or slide. That will also take weight off your upper body. Make it a little easier for you to hold. If you want to modify that way. We're doing great, everyone. That's 45 seconds in. Got 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, into a downward dog. And shift side to side here, pedal out the feet. And then slowly walk the hands back and towards the feet. Deep breath. Walking the hands. 
hands back, out. Lifting one leg up off the floor. And let's do our little balance routine. <laughs> if we want to have a little bit more fun. Okay, we'll switch sides. Let's have a little fun there. And don't forget to breathe. Bring that leg down, sitting on the bum. Awesome. Taking a second. There's my step punch. Wonderful. Okay, we're gonna go back into our uh, boat pose. So, think about keeping the back straight, pulling the knees into the chest for 45 seconds, and we're gonna go back and do our dead buttons. Okay, we're gonna start in three, two, one. Lean back, lifting the hand, lifting the feet, lifting the hands. And think about keeping that back nice and straight and pulling the knees in towards the chest. Okay, we don't be rounded in this position. We want everything to be nice and flat and straight. We're not forgetting to breathe. That's 30 right there. We got 15 more, everyone. Chest nice and tall. Three, two, one. Letting the legs lie flat. And send the mat. Raising the legs up. Arms. Checking our time. We got 30. Let's go. An opposite arm, opposite leg. Two more, one, and two. Nice, pull the knees in towards the chest. <sighs> and just breathing, concentrating on your breath. Take a nice deep breath in. And slowly letting it out. Just stay there for a few more seconds. Just gonna check one thing. Awesome, everyone. Back down to that position. Still breathing. Moving the knees to the side. We're coming up into a tabletop position. start our, our second sequence now that was our first one uh, we're gonna uh, start out with some bridge curls so uh, you want slidey socks on for this if you don't you can always walk it out okay um, there's always different options but right now we're just gonna do uh, we're just gonna do some bridge curls and it's gonna be fun or you can uh, if that's too hard you can always do a just a straight bridge or single leg bridge so we'll show you what we're doing and then Show the modifications from there and then we'll get started. Get some water. 
I'll take a little break if we need it. So we're in our bridge. So if we got sloppy soft tone, we're gonna slide our legs out to extension, but we wanna keep tension through our core, tension through our glutes, and then pulling our heels back towards our bum. And then extending the legs out, and then pulling the heels back towards the bum. So if that's, like your hamstrings feel like they're cramping up and you're like falling over, that's okay, it happens. Um, what we're gonna do, if that's happening, you're just gonna walk the legs out, and then walk the legs back in, okay? So those are your two options. You get 45 seconds of this, and then we're gonna move through our flow. Okay. So hips up. You can start in three, two, one. So extending the legs out, pulling them back towards the bottom. This whole thing is really important to try to keep the body as a unit it moves together. When I pull my heels back, my hips are dropping, they're staying in line with my legs. So we want to see that, everything's staying in line. I don't want to see this. Okay, we want to see everything nice and in a straight line. Oh, we're almost there, everyone. There it is, wonderful. So we're gonna drop the hips down, arms out to the side, heels together. We're just gonna drop our knees to one side while keeping both shoulders on the floor. And then shifting to the other, keeping both shoulders on the ground. And we're breathing through it. Shift side to side, one over here, one over there. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna shift to the side again. Our mat is not flattened out, we're gonna flatten it out again into our tabletop position. Finding our toes in the back, and we're coming up into our downward dog. Oh, we're gonna take one hand, we're gonna reach back towards our leg. Take a few deep breaths here. On the side. Then coming back down, knees on the floor. So next what we're gonna do is called a quadruped rotation. So, or a table, a table rotation. So we're gonna start in our table position. Our toes are gonna to be up in the back. We're gonna lift our knees slightly off the floor. So this is hard as it is. So we're lifting these slightly off the floor. So we're gonna balance on one hand and one leg and move to the side. Okay. And then coming back down to the floor, knees hovering, and then shifting opposite arm, opposite leg. We wanna stay on our toe in the back foot, and then coming back down. This uh, can be a little hard. I just thought I'd throw it in there just for some fun. If the rotation does not work for you, it's okay. Just stay in that just uh, table position with the knees lifted and just lift one leg, okay? And alternate, just like uh, we were doing the planks, right? But we're just doing our rotations. If you wanna make it a little harder, you can extend the leg and try to control that back end, not letting it touch the floor. Extending the leg. Let it touch the floor, coming back in under control. Shifting, extending the leg, coming back down, lowering the knees to the floor. Awesome, everyone. That's great. Okay, now, I'm just gonna sit back into a child's pose. From there, arms out, 
We're just gonna shift our hands to one side. We're gonna stretch out the side of our body. Nice, not for very long. Let's stay, let's stay active. Then shifting the hands to the other side. Stretching out. You should feel that from your hips to your fingertips. Nice. And then coming back to center, up into our tabletop. Wonderful. And then from there, we're gonna stick one leg out to the side. Or I'll give you another view. Um, stick one leg out to the side. We're just gonna shift back onto the heel and back up. Shift back onto the heel and back up. We're just gonna do five passes here. Nothing too lengthy. I'm just going to shift to the other side, and shift the hips back, and up. Nice work, everyone. Just one more after this. Nice. Okay, we're going to shift our, almost call it a blankie, shift our mat up. <laughs> shift the blankie up. Um, <laughs> Shift the mat up, and we're gonna do our bridge curls again. Okay, just get our timing, and we're off. Extending the legs, coming back up. Press them nice and tense through the body, squeezing the glutes, making sure that we have tension. We're bracing. If we want to make it harder, we can always lift the hands off the floor. And pull those heels in towards the bottom so we don't get help from our upper body. Yeah, my hips are dropping slightly. Come on, keep them up, keep them up. Yes, there it is. Everything moves as a unit. Nice, what time are we on right now? Nice. Oh, okay, that's our 45. We're lowering back down, heels together, arms up the sides, shoulders stay on the floor. We're gonna shift the knees to one side and then to the other. To one side and then to the other. Coming back to center there. We're shifting to the side. We're coming up. We're just gonna come up into a plank, then lower down into a cobra. Just take a nice deep breath here. Up with dog, we're gonna fix our mat if we can. <laughs> Down to our tabletop. <sighs> From our table. We're gonna do our quadruped rotations. So I'll just um, show you from a different angle. We have, we're on our toes in the back. We're just lifting the knees slightly off the floor. We're lifting one leg, one arm off the ground. And then we're coming back, we're shifting. I want to keep this, keep on that toe. I want to stay nice and balanced. We want to move through our abdominals here. I want to initiate that movement through our core and control. We don't want to be flopping all over the place. We want to control that movement. And from here, we want to pull back with our abdominals and pull back with our abdominals. We don't want to initiate through the shoulder. We want to initiate through right here. Pull back through the abdominals. Awesome, you guys are doing great. Pull. Control, control, control. And pull. One more each side. And pull. And pull. Nice. 
into our tabletop position. We're just sitting back into our child pose. Wonderful. Hands up, we're gonna move them to the side. And move the hands to the other side. Center. Coming up into our tabletop. Wonderful. Fly to the side, or we can do a seated abductor. Just, or just walking abductor, that's what it's called. And back. Yeah. All right. Yeah, just one more of these. Shifting sides, shoulders, those hips back and up. Oh man. We're doing great. We just got one more round of that, okay everyone? Awesome. And the last one. So we're going to pull their mat back up. <laughs> awesome. And we go up into our blue bridge. Just going to get our tongue so we don't lose track. Awesome. And bring the legs forward. Bring the heels in towards the bum. You want to make it harder, lift the hands overhead. Trying to keep a nice straight line with the hips. So if you don't have the arms on the floor, you're not going to get as much pull through the shoulders, right? You can really help yourself if you have your arms on the ground and then pull, right? So whatever, um, wherever you're at right now, my hips just dropped there. Um, wherever you're at right now, if you need the arms on the floor, wonderful. If you need the elbows on the floor, cool. If, you, if this is just a little bit more your speed, awesome. Almost there, everyone. Keep pushing. We've got 10 seconds left. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Dropping those hips. Arms out to the side. We're going to bring our heels together. We're going to keep our shoulders down the ground. Shift the knees side to side. We're keeping the shoulders and arms flat on the floor. Feeling a nice pull from the shoulder down to the hip. Center. We're shifting these to the side. We're gonna come up into a downward dog. We're gonna fix our mat if we can. Up. <laughs> nice. Back into a tabletop position. Let's see. Mm. Okay, from there, we're gonna get into our back into our quadruped rotations. Or tabletop rotations, whatever you want to call them. You can have a view. Okay. Up on the toes, lift the knees slightly off the floor. We're just going to bring the leg through. Just draw 
balance in the hand leg. We're just going to pull us back into position. We're going to stay in control, rotate through the hips. We're going to use our core to initiate us back into that tabletop position. Pulling. Pulling through the abdominals. Back into that quadruped position. Through the hips, we're pulling back through the abdominals. Awesome, wonderful. We got 20 seconds left, okay? Whoop. Pull, nice, we're rotating, and we're really pulling through those abdominals, initiating that movement. Almost there, everyone. Pull, last one. Good job, everyone. That was fun. We had a great time. Um, <laughs> we're gonna do a little stretching, and then you guys are good to go. Okay, so uh, we're gonna sit down on our bumps, widen the legs out, yeah, just like that. Keep the chest nice and tall. We're just gonna reach the hands forward, keeping our chest nice and tall. Don't let the feet dive in. We want them up nice and tall. Just gonna stay here for 30. Oh. Keep breathing. And if you feel like you can't sit up straight in this position, you can always have your hands up behind your back. And then pushing your hips forward like this. You should feel it on the inside of your leg, that stretch. Bring the legs together. We're laying down. We're bringing one knee up towards the chest. Bring that knee across the body. Leave both shoulders flat on the floor. Oh, yeah. You should feel this one from your shoulder to your hips to your knee. Awesome. If you're ever ha having a hard time touching the floor with your uh, with your foot, you can always prop something underneath it, like a stool or a yoga block, whatever you got. Kettlebell. Then shifting, pulling that other knee to your chest, bring that leg across. Concentrating on your breath. Come back to center on your mat. I'm just going to switch orientations here. And then we're going to bring both knees into the chest. Feet to the floor. Okay. Nice. Well, thank you all for showing up today. I hope you had a great time. Uh, uh, we we all at PSP Gage Channel appreciate every that one that comes to listen. Uh, it's just a, a blessing that we can do this. And uh, thank you all for participating. It's just amazing. So. Uh, 
thank you all uh, for coming out today and I'll see you guys again uh, tomorrow with the family workout. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. Um, yeah. So uh, have a nice day, everyone. Enjoy the sun. Okay. Bye-bye.